Um, these, these new um, approaches have massive potential benefits for a small subset of patients. Um, how, what are the challenges in bringing them to those people? How do we make that transition from the lab to the patients you people are treating? Precisely, precision medicine is exactly this. It's about inverting the pyramid, so to speak, of treatments that we have. We used to, in the past, treat everyone with the same treatment and only a small subset of them would derive benefit. We're now trying to invert this pyramid to end up with, with much bigger benefits, but in a smaller number of patients. For this reason, we have to test everyone. We have to understand what defines their cancer. To be the enemy, you need to know the enemy. So we have to know exactly what drives the cancer. And then we have to go after this small subset of patients with drugs that really do their, their job and that produce this impact. True match. Exactly. And for this reason, we need to reach the patients. And I think this session follows on a wonderful session that, that points to the fact that the really small subset of patients participate in clinical trials. 3% mm -hmm. is probably a, a generous number for some diseases. And since we are going after smaller and smaller subset of patients, we really need everyone to partner with us to actually drive the innovation of these drugs by participating in clinical trials, which are not just trials where we're collecting the data. The intent is not just that, it's to treat. Right. Because we have better and better drugs that have to pass even more rigorous hurdles and tests in their preclinical space. When they enter the patient, we have much better understanding what they may achieve. And since we're going after this small subset of patients, we really need everyone to get tested, to have their tumors analyzed, to participate in these innovative 